welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we're gonna be doing something new, something I've never done before. Today, we're going to be ordering some fish online. So today, we're going to be ordering from Imperial Tropicals. I have never used them before. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. If these fish are sick or dead, you guys are gonna see it. I'm not hiding anything. And with that being said, I do already know which fish I'm getting, which by the way, we are getting them for my 55 gallon aquarium. They're gonna be joining Killer and Kobe in there. So the fish we are gonna be getting today, I was considering just like having it be a surprise, like when I unbox them, you guys see it. But again, I just wanna show you the whole ordering process. The first one we are getting is right here, the Firemouth Cichlid. And I have done research on all of these fish. They are all supposed to get along. So we're gonna put two to three inch unsexed. We don't care what gender they are. <laughs> We're gonna add that to cart. The next cichlid we are gonna be getting today is right here, the Electric Blue Texas Cichlid. Never mind, the only available ones are six inches long and we don't want that, so uh, I do have a backup plan. We're gonna head over to the Green Texas Cichlid. There should be some of these that are two to three inches, hopefully. And yeah, there are available ones that are two to three inches. So we're gonna add that to the cart. And now the last fish that we're gonna be getting is the, where is it, where is it? the green terror cichlid. And you may notice if you watched my dream pets video that all three of these fish were listed in that and they do have two to three inch. So we're gonna add that to cart. And now we're gonna head over to our cart. So these are the three fish we're getting, the green terror, the green Texas, and the fire mouth. So I'm now gonna proceed to check out. As you can see right there, the total is $39.97. Please hit the like button because shipping is gonna be like 30 more. So I'm now going to put in all my personal information. I'm gonna blur all of it out, obviously. I don't want y'all showing up to my crib. There we go, continue to shipping. And yeah, shipping is $35. And that's just because it is overnight shipping so the fish can get to you extremely quickly. And they also have to like add in cool packs or heating packs, uh, depending on the temperature at that time. But $35 for shipping, again, please hit the like button. But yeah, our total is $74.96. Easily the most I've ever spent on fish. And there it is. The fish are ordered. Wow, they'll be on the way here shortly. So let's hope they get here safely, all alive, all healthy. I guess we'll have to find out though. I will see you in a couple days when they get here. They're here. It is 5.05 p.m. A little bit later than I anticipated they would be getting here. And I don't want to leave these fish waiting any longer. Fingers crossed that they're alive. Here we go. I'm so excited for this. You guys have no idea. I'm actually gonna move the camera up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And here we go. Thank you for your purchase. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> got a lot of insulation. I'm gonna try not to get this stuff everywhere. So this is our Firemouth Cichlid. There he is. I don't know how well you can see him. He's doing good. Perfect size. He is beautiful. Oh my goodness. So we will just set him right there. Next up is our Green Texas. Oh my goodness. Wow. Again, perfect size. I am so excited to get these guys in the tank. All right, two for two. Both looking very good. And now our green terror. And he is also good. There he is. He's probably the biggest guy out of the three. I think Killer still has all of them beat though. But yeah, that is super exciting guys. All of them made it. First time ever ordering fish, so far so good. These guys are all double bagged, so I'm going to just get it down to one bag so I can start putting these guys in the tank to acclimate. There's no way I'm gonna be able to undo this knot. So I'm just gonna try and cut through the first layer. There we go. I'm gonna let him start acclimating. I'll just put him in real quick, then we'll get to the other two. Looks like that one had a leak in it a little bit. Or I might've cut it whenever I stuck my knife in there, but. Let's get this guy in there to start acclimating as well. And last but definitely not least, our fire mouth cichlid. Oh god. That bag has a hole in it. Alright. It's good when it's this way. So right there is a look at our tank. Like I said in my last video, it did clear up 
it's almost crystal clear. But anyway, all three of our new fish are in there acclimating. Ignore the greenish water. I'm pretty sure all of these are raised in like outdoor hatcheries. So there's a closer look at our Firemouth Cichlid. There's our Green Terror. And there is our Green Texas. That's the one I'm most excited about. We're gonna give these guys probably about 20 to 25 minutes to acclimate and then they're getting released into their new home. All right guys, it's been about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these new cichlids in the tank. I'm gonna start with the Firemouth because his bag is a little bit messed up. So I just wanna get him out of the way and then I'll do the other two. There he goes. Oh my, look at the colors on him. He is beautiful. Wow. All right, let's get the other two now. There he goes. And let's get the green Texas. And there he goes. There's our green Texas. Back there is our fire mouth. Then up there, behind the power head is our green terror there he is obviously gonna take these guys a little bit to get used to this tank but right now i am going to put kobe and killer back in there i've got kobe all these fish are probably about the same size as kobe and then killer has all of them beat there goes kobe and now i just gotta grab killer and yeah overnight i put in these cave decorations just so they would feel a little bit more comfortable killer isn't gonna be happy about this oh god Got him. And there he goes. Oh yeah, he's much, much bigger than all of them. Killer, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Good boy. All right, everyone's in. Killer and Kobe reunited. Killer's colors instantly came back. He was looking super pale in the quarantine tank, but he's good now. Same with Kobe. And it's gonna take these guys a little bit to get used to it, to get their full colors to come out. All right, so right now, Killer and Kobe are just checking out the Green Terror and Firemouth. They are not biting at them. They're just like, honestly hanging out with them. Possibly saying hello. Welcome to Carson's Aquatics room. Let's see what happens. He's just like, oh, what's up? Oh, the Green Terror is like, hey, wait up. <laughs> so far, so good. But then up here is the Green Texas. He's just kind of chilling. Still looks just a little bit shocked, I guess. He was like that in the bag though, too. So we'll just give them some time and I will keep you guys updated. These are all American cichlids, so they should get along. And they are so far. So yeah, all is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take down this quarantine tank. There's no need for it anymore. So I'm gonna be glad to have that out of the way. And yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on these guys. I'll update you guys in a little bit. All right guys, it's been about 10 minutes. Sorry, I'm eating a piece of chocolate, but our green Texas is finally moving. Very good to see. He's looking good. Everything's looking good. Literally these four, Kobe Killer, the Green Terror and the Firemouth, they're all getting along, like they're staying together. Like that's the gang. And then this guy, hopefully they accept him into the crew as well, but we'll just have to see. All right, so it's now the next day and I'll just show you the fish real quick. They're actually doing really good. There's two of them right there. And then the Green Texas right there. He wasn't really moving around a whole lot yesterday, but he has been moving around a ton today. Killer and Kobe are getting along with all of them. Right there between those two rocks, you can kind of see a little hole Killer was digging in there earlier. I think he's digging back there right now. So all of these fish are starting to get more comfortable in this tank. That's good to see. I did actually feed them last night. I dropped a thing of bloodworms in there and I didn't film it because I didn't expect the new fish to eat. But surprisingly, all of them did actually eat a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop in some more bloodworms now. Got the bloodworms right here. I'm just gonna dump all of them in here. Green Texas down there, going to town. There's Killer getting some. Kobe is of course going in green terror is just chilling back there come on fire mouth the fire mouth is probably the skinniest one out of all of them so hopefully he starts eating soon there's the green terror Let's see if he grabs any oh, yep oh he dropped it looks like the green texas finally slowed down a little bit and yeah one thing i've noticed is that this little back corner has been the hot spot they all hang out back there a lot all together usually kobe and killer 
are literally always together. Kobe just kind of follows him around. And then the Firemouth and the Green Terror have been hanging out a lot. And then the Green Texas has mainly just been on his own. But yeah, looks like he's going to be a big eater. He's still eating over there. And this guy, he's actually going to get the biggest out of all of these fish. At some point, even though Killer is the biggest right now, he very well could be the smallest in the end, which is pretty funny. And that is why I'm not going to get any more fish for this tank. It's just going to be those five. And eventually, I might even have to upgrade this tank to like a 75 or 100, but we'll just see. That'll definitely be a long time before that happens. And yeah, I'm going to keep feeding these guys blood worms, and then eventually I'll try and get them on pellet. But yeah. Everything's actually going really well so far. They're all getting along. You know, every once in a while I'll look over and Killer will just be like chasing one of them. But that's normal. That's going to happen. They're aggressive fish. They're going to peck at each other every once in a while. And that's just how it is. But yeah, overall, very pleased with this whole experience. Again, I bought these three new cichlids from Imperial Tropicals. Not sponsored by them. This was a 100% honest review. You know, on this channel, I just tell it how it is. But yeah, the fish arrived. They're all healthy. All good there. It is going to wrap up this video. And I do have today's comment of the day. And that goes out too. George Fishing. It's always a good day when Carson uploads. Great video, mate. Thank you, George. I really do appreciate that. And real quick, I do want to mention, as a lot of you know, I've been uploading every other day during quarantine. It has been a very busy two or three weeks, and I've had a ton of stuff to upload and do. But now that whole busy schedule is kind of starting to slow down a little bit. I still do have stuff to do, so there will be a lot of videos, but I'm not going to promise every other day. I'm going to try and make them as quickly as possible without putting the quality in jeopardy. But yeah, probably not going to be every other day anymore we're probably looking at every three or four days for the next couple weeks so also drop some video ideas down in the comments can never have too many video ideas but anyway if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen and if you like this video be sure to hit that like button do me a favor and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and i'm gonna see you in the next video